All right, today we're gonna show you how to catch speckled trout from the shore using live shrimp as bait. It was a crazy day. I caught like 15 speckled trout in under an hour. We're gonna show you exactly step by step and all the techniques you need to know to catch these fish. Let's get down to it. Third cast. Third cast. Number three on the day. Um, so first we're gonna talk about the bait we're using. Um, then we're gonna talk about some techniques, the rigs, and sort of when and where to fish for these speckled trout. All right, first thing we're gonna go over is what bait to use. It's summertime going into fall. And during that time, there's still shrimp in the area. So that's mainly what the fish are gonna be feeding on. So you wanna match your bait to what they're used to. So in this case, we're gonna be using shrimp. That's how we're gonna rig it, right behind the horn. Makes it move real natural. So if you don't have shrimp in the area, maybe it's out of season, or you just don't know how to catch them, we actually do have a video talking about how to catch shrimp, so check that out, because it's definitely par none, the best bait for specs. But sometimes, obviously, there might not be shrimp in the area when you're fishing, especially during winter time. During winter, look for other bait fish that specs will be eating. Definitely their favorite one during the winter, mud minnows. But the bigger ones will eat everything from pinfish, mullet, menhaden. So if you want to catch a big gator, size up your bait, and you'll catch one if you're fishing the right position. All right, up next, Luke's gonna talk a little bit about the rig we we're using. There's a couple different variations here. We did it pretty simple. We just put a slip bobber, or you can use any real bobber, and just adjust it to the depth you're fishing. And then we went down to a circle hook, and then sometimes we put a weight, you know, maybe a couple inches above the circle hook, just to get it to drop down in the water column where the fish are feeding. And that's the main setup of our rig we're using. Quick note about our rig. Since we're using circle hooks, you're not gonna wanna set the hook super quick. You're sorta of gonna wanna do it nice and slow and steady. You're gonna start with your tip of the rod near the water. Once that bobber goes down, get a little bit of tension, and pull it up and over your shoulder. And you'll see it in the video. It's nice and slow movement, and then boom, fish on. Third cast. Third cast. <laughs> Number three on the day. So that's just another note. Make sure you don't hurt and jerk it nice and smooth and get them in. All right, now we're gonna talk about a little bit about trout behavior. You need to know that if you're gonna be successful at catching these trout. First off, the main area you're gonna find trout are in the marsh, marshy lands or the sounds of the bay. They will go into the ocean, but there's definitely a lot more in the bays because that's generally where they're gonna live out most of their lives. And that's where you wanna target if you're really going for, you know, trying to catch a lot of speckled trout. Second, a little note about where we were fishing specifically in the marshes. It was at the mouth of a creek. Mouths of creeks are killer spots to fish for trout because those are sort of bait highways for them. That's where they're gonna be looking for their bait. All the bait fish are running up in these skinny creeks, the skinny water. That's where they're gonna be you know, moving into as the water's getting deeper because that provides the most protection. And that's where the speckled trout, that's why they're gonna be swimming into the mouth of the creeks and up the creeks, why the tide's going up. And so I'm just launching my live shrimp out there, right at the mouth of the creek. As they're moving up into the creek, they see the shrimp, boom, bobber down, fish on. Really simple. Those mouths of creeks are critical spots to fish. Oh yeah. You can only 
し<笑>本当ですか<笑>はい。So make sure you target them and get a good pair of shoes if you are, because you can definitely scrape up your feet. Definitely would recommend getting a pair of like water shoes that you can wear. That way if they get dirty, you can hose them off real quick to protect your bottom of your feet from oyster shells. If any of you have been there, you know how sharp oyster shells are. These are the Seekway brand. They've been actually really durable. We use them when we go creep fishing up here in Charlottesville or if we go to the beach with those you know, nasty oysters that break skin and give you all sorts of like,、uh, cuts. These definitely Or worth the investment. So look up a pair of these if you are going to be you know, pouncing around in the mud, getting your feet cut up. Definitely save you some pain. Like Luke was saying, those oyster bars are super productive for trout.、Uh, we're going to have another video coming out in the next week or two of me and my buddy Dave just slaying right off an oyster bar, literally plucking them five feet off the oyster bar, boom, 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 with the live shrimp. Money, money, money. Stay tuned. Oh, I'm down, I'm down. Yep, double dutch. <laughs> These techniques and tips are great when you're fishing with live bait, but if you can't fish with shrimp, I mean, you're not out of luck. You can also catch speckled trout on lures, which is really productive. And we have another video, I'll shoot that link right up there, wherever it is. And that is just of us fishing on a boat for those speckled trout, catching them with lures. You can be almost as successful as with the live shrimp. So, a crazy day of fishing, and we just gave you all the tips and tricks behind our successful day. We hope it helped you guys out. Speckled trout is definitely one of our favorite fish, saltwater. We don't get to catch them very often, but every time we do, it's a blessing. Hopefully, with these trips, you'll be able to catch them using our tips, tricks, tactics. Like, comment, subscribe if you liked the video. And if you got any questions, comment down below. We also got our gear and stuff down below. And、uh, check out the next video popping up, baby. Catch y'all next time. Booyah!